Hello there, Leo. Welcome to your June 2015 reading. Uh, thank you for joining me and thank you for watching this video. I hope you had a great May. Uh, May was a great month for a lot of people. A lot of people wrote me and said it was a great month, so th that is good to know. Um, <clears throat> so I think in June, in June, you, you will have another great month. I know Leo has had a lot of challenges and things like that that they've had to go through over the past few years. I think a lot of those things are coming to an end, just like one by one, there's ending, 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 uh, which is great, you know, which is a good thing. And I think you have a very mental, a very mental month where you're, you're going to be having a lot of things on your mind, thinking about a lot of things, processing a lot of things, having a lot of success, things like that. So the first card you have is the Six of Diamonds. This card is normally read as like separation or divorce or, or something along those lines. However, I read this in a lot of different ways, number one, but uh, I read this as a very stable card, really, <laughs> actually, which is the total opposite of divorce. But, um, you know, so I read intuitively, like I tell people, people say, what are your meanings? And my cards, uh, the same card can mean something differently based off of just a number of factors. But um, this is a very stable card, so I, I always see this as stability coming in. But more importantly, what I read this card card as is things that you had to do uh, spiritually, you know, things that you had to go through, that you had to overcome, um, and now you've overcome them, and this is where the stability part comes in. So these were like things that you, you absolutely had to do on your life path, uh, no matter how difficult they may have seem, seemed at the time, um, and then this is like kind of like the stability that you get out of that. Um, that's what this card means. So, you know, it's like kind of like the ending. And to kind of round that one out, you got the uh, Ten of Spades, which I kind of read this card kind of like the Ten of Swords, which is kind of like an ending. You know, you're, you've you got, gotten through all the bad stuff and, uh, you know, now you're, you're, you know, you're, you're coming out of it and things like that. Um, that's what this card can mean for me. Um, a lot of people w read this as like worry. So, you know, maybe, maybe you still, because you have a lot of mental... We're going to get here in a second, but a lot of mental stuff going on. Um, you're just in your mind, not like mental illness or anything like that. People, somebody asked me that on one of my readings where I was talking about the mental cards. But, um, you know, so maybe you're worrying about it and things like that, but it's still, everything's in the past. The other thing is, you know, it's allowing a lot of new stuff. A lot of the cards that you have after this card uh, all represent new, like new things coming in. And a couple other signs have had this today. Um, so this is allowing new stuff to come in. So it's kind of like death in, uh, as well. It's like, you know, the the death of the old and the new coming in, which, again, Six of Diamonds can also kind of represent those things. So next you have the Nine of Clubs. This is a great card. This card represents good luck and things coming into you after difficulty and also all of a sudden like it's like bam all of a sudden and this can also be you know it doesn't have to be money this could be love it, it's all abundance of everything is what this card represents it's not just one thing it's kind of like kind of like things are just kind of falling into place one after another and they're really coming coming into you and it's interesting when i when i pulled this card I immediately went back to the Six of Diamonds because, again, this is having to overcome, having had overcome a bunch of stuff and then, you know, being done with those things. Well, what usually comes after overcoming things is usually, you know, success and that's, or achievement, achieving like a, the next level. And that's what this card can represent is achievement of the next level um, in, in your life, basically, you know, and, and some good things. Next, we have the Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds uh, is very simply you in this reading. I, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Don't attach sex to cards. You know, for me, cards, it, the, the Queen is just an archetype. It's not a sex, necessarily, in card reading. Um, and so, you know, this is confidence, uh, she's very confident, so it's like you becoming more confident. Leo doesn't necessarily have a problem with confidence, but, you know, maybe in certain situations, um, it's you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> becoming more confident, and I'm choking here, but it's, that's okay. <clears throat> so, you know, that's literally what it means, um, in the meaning, in the reading, <clears throat> and then, 
the next card you have is the Two of Clubs. Two of Clubs represents obstacles to success. I'm really feeling this mostly in the past, but I, I think the reason it came up here is I think because you're thinking about it. You're thinking about all those past obstacles, all those past like past like difficulties that you had to overcome, all the past things that happened to you. So I think that they're on your mind, but I think what this card is saying is it's only in your mind. That's it. It's just only in your mind. Your past like the hardest of the hardest stuff. And, you know, good things are coming, but I think it's just asking you to just realize that these things, bad things don't exist anymore, so stop, you know, preventing good things from happening is kind of what this is saying, you know, with your mind, basically. And then finally, we have the Three of Clubs, which is the uh, extremely good card. It represents love and, uh, and feeling good and, and being happy and things like this. Uh, it matches up really well with the Nine of Clubs, which again is an abundance of everything, um, not just money, not just love, like just abundance in general of everything in your life. And this card also is uh, read as second chance. So, you know, it's like a second chance at doing some things. And the, the other interesting thing is, is that at the beginning of this month, you have the Mercury retrograde, which is, you know, things from the past coming back. So, you know, you might have a second chance at something like a relationship or a business or a, a job or something like that that you thought and it would definitely be something that you thought was done with you thought that this was just gone never to have another chance with again um, and this is your second chance coming around so all in all Leo excellent month uh, I hope you have a great June thank you for watching